taught, why did you not go down the university route? Mostly because of the time in my, in my, in my life or my career when I, when I took, took this up. Um, I had a career behind me. Um, mm -hmm. I went to university for other things back, back in, the, in the day. Um, when it came to uh, the artistic side, um, I felt that yeah, I got a, a good enough grounding in, in night class that allowed me then to, to take the basics and not really be restricted by um, maybe the, the fine art of the sort of the university teaching. Um, that's been good because it hasn't, I haven't felt restricted. I've learned from my own mistakes um, mm -hmm. and there have been plenty of them. Um, I wouldn't consider my work to be technically brilliant, but there are other things uh, going for it rather than that. And um, what advice would you give to any up and coming artists that want to get into ceramics? I think cer ceramics is quite a tough discipline. It's a very small market, and for me personally, I'm trying very hard to be different. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make my work different from maybe uh, slightly more more technically good guys. Um, out in the market, uh, I feel you've got to follow um, your gut in a lot of uh, instances where you're maybe doing a bit of work that maybe not everybody likes. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to be quite brave sometimes with you know putting work out there that isn't um, everybody's cup of tea. You've got to stand up behind your work. And you've got to have the confidence to stand behind your work. Um, do you find a pressure to keep changing and just coming up with new ideas? Um, I tend to find that the work does tend to evolve itself mm -hmm. and that keeps things fresh. And uh, what I love about what I do is that uh, work will gently develop maybe into something else or at another point, you know, you may have a, an idea that, that, that takes the work totally in a different direction. The heads and the figurative stuff I've been doing very recently are very, very different from maybe you know some of the stuff I've done recently, mm -hmm. like this, this the spiky stuff or the novelty stuff. But the signature overall is quite. Uh, it still fits with the signature. It still fits with the uh, the sort of the aggressive urban contemporary look. Totally different uh, piece, but same sort of. Sort of style, sort of Do you see yourself in your works of art? <laughs> the large bald heads. Um, <laughs> well, that's what <laughs> Some of the, the, the heads came about. Um, I have used my work uh, quite as as quite a cathartic tool. Sometimes um, I've had. Uh, it's helped me through uh, the last couple of years where I've faced uh, redundancy and also uh, 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 death in the family. Uh, from that instance, the work has given me uh, an outlet mm -hmm. to put you know, some of that sort of feeling and emotion into. And in some ways, um, particularly the heads, whilst they bear a wee bit of, some of them bear a bit of resemblance, uh, they're quite introspective, they're quite, uh, you know, they're looking down, they're quite moody, they're quite uh, insular. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and in some degree, yes, there, there, there is a bit of self-portraiture there. And finally, what is going to happen in 2011 for you? Twen Anything exciting coming up? 2011 so far is a, is a very busy year. Um, uh -huh. The next thing I have on is, a, is an exhibition in London, um, in Notting Hill, I'm part of a, a group exhibition of emerging contemporary artists. Mm -hmm. um, after that in May, I'm part of a, a group exhibition in the Marketplace Theatre in Armagh, which is about, it's entitled The Art of Craft, um, and which, that's a question I get asked all the time about, um, are you a crafts person or are you an artist? And this exhibition is allowing me to show yeah. that um, you know, with, with basic craft skills, you can you can express yourself uh, in a very artistic way. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, after
after the summer, I have a, a group exhibition in, uh, local to me, which is very important. It's, a, it's in uh, Belmont Tower in East Belfast. Okay. And it's the second year that we've, that we've done this group exhibition. It's actually a, a group of parents uh, whose children were at, were at the local Belmont School. Um, and the, the, their friends as well. It's multidisciplinary and it's, uh, it's basically very, very close to home, which is great. Um, and what I'm really looking forward to is in the autumn after that, which is uh, with another canvas artist. And mm -hmm. We're putting on a, a, a joint show. Um, it will be a painter and myself. It will be very contemporary. It will be quite loud. It will be uh, very, very different. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. So it's going to be a busy year. Um, where that leads next year, I don't know. But Happy days. Well, good luck with the year and we'll catch up with you soon.